Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. So we have decided to create a playlist for M1 May 2025 examination paper. Now starting with the first question, we have two functions, the function fx and the function gx. Now in the first part of the question, they have told us to find out the value of gf1. This basically means that we need to substitute the value of f1 into the gx function. So let's first find out the f1, the value of f1. So that's basically 2 divided by 3 plus 1. 2 divided by 3 plus 1. So that gives us 1 over 2. Now we need to substitute this value into the gx function. So that gives us 4 minus 1 over 2 whole squared. So this is equals to 15 over 4. So that is it for the first part. Now moving on to the next part, we need to find out the range of f. In order to find out the range of the function fx, we first need to sketch this function. As you can see, this is a reciprocal function. So there will be two asymptotes of this function. One of the asymptotes will be uh, one of the asymptotes will be y equals y equals 2 divided by 3. So if you guys are confused on how to sketch reciprocal functions, we will very soon uh, create a video on it, on how to sketch reciprocal functions and stuff. But for now, think of it like this, that the powers of x are the same, so we need to divide the numerator I mean, in the numerator, the coefficient of x is 2. And in the denominator, the coefficient of x is 3. So, the one of the asymptotes will be y equals 2 divided by 3. And the other asymptote, that is the denominator, we need to equate this denominator to, to 0. So, we get the other asymptote as negative 1 over 3. So, let's draw these two asymptotes. So these are the two asymptotes of the function. Now we need to sketch this function I and mean draw this function. But first we need to find out two coordinates. The first coordinate would be the point where the, where the graph crosses the y-axis. Now we know that at y-axis the value of x is 0. So if we substitute x equals 0 into this equation, we get 0 divided by uh, 1, which is equals to 0. So this will be one of the points where the curve crosses the coordinate axis. And the other one is that at x axis, the value of y is 0. So if we take y as 0, and solve this equation we will get x as 0 so the graph will look something like this one part of the graph will look like this and the other part will look like this but as you can see that when they gave us the function, they also gave us the domain of the function. It's that x is greater than or equal to 0. So this part of the graph will not exist. So we can just erase this. So the part of the graph that will do exist is this one. So as you can see that fx can be equal to 0 but fx cannot be 2 by 3. So the range of fx would be less than 2 by 3 but greater than or equal to 0. So that is the answer to, the, to your question. Now moving on to the next part, we need to find the if inverse function. Now if Many of you are confused on how to find the inverse of a function. 
stay tuned we will soon create a video on on functions and modulus function and so and and so on so in order to find the find the inverse of a function we need to take this function and write it as y equals 2x divided by 3x plus 1 and the second step is to make x the subject uh, wait let me just write it down over here so that's y equals 2x divided by 3x plus 1 and then we need to make x the subject so that's 3xy plus y is equal to 2x now if we make x the subject we will get y divided by 2 minus 3y and the last step we need to do is that we need to replace x with the inverse function in in this case it's f inverse x and we need to replace y with x so that becomes x divided by 2 minus 3x now in the p3 syllabus when writing the inverse function we also need to write the domain of the inverse function by the side now we do not know the domain of the inver inverse function do we? but we know that the range of fx will be the domain of f inverse x so the domain of the inverse function will look something like this x is greater than or equal to 0 but less than 2 by 3 so that is the answer to part c now let's solve part d now part d is a very interesting question they they have told us to solve this equation two polar opposite functions now i don't know if you all remember but in the textbook there there was a problem like this you need to solve the equation of two polar opposite functions now you all need to remember that if this is fx let's assume that this is fx then this will be f inverse x now always remember that if you draw the line y is equals to x it will look like this both of these two polar opposite functions will intersect in the line y is equals to x so we just need to find this coordinate So some of the students, they, what they will do is that they will take the f inverse x equation, which is x divided by 2 minus 3x, and equate it to the fx equation, which is completely wrong. I mean, it's not wrong, but it's, it's a very lengthy process. And this question requires only two marks. So you can solve this in two ways. The first method is that equate the fx equation to y is equals to x equation so that will give us 2x divided by 3x plus 1 is equals to x now if we rearrange this equation this becomes 3x squared plus x minus 2x equals 0 and plus x minus 2x gives us minus x equals 0 so one of the values of x will be 0 and the other value will be 1 over 3 this is the first method and the second method is that what we can do is that we can take the f inverse x equation and equate this with y equals x equation so f inverse x is x divided by 2 minus 3x this is equals to x so that gives us x is equals to 2x minus 3x squared 
Now, as you can see, this is basically the same equation we have found in the previous method. So this becomes 3x squared and minus x equals 0. And the answer will be the same, x equals 0 or x equals 1 over 3. So that is it for question 1. And if you guys have any problems regarding this video, please let us know in the comment section and we will try to answer each and every single one of your questions as soon as possible. And I will see you guys in the next video.